Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming coming to you from this is uh, where the Guardian Farm is but we're going to do another small house episode. I dropped one yesterday. I'm not going to do that many of them but since everybody asked I kind of got in it. We're going to do a small Alcatraz house. This is kind of where I was when I thought this whole, as the whole time I was doing the Guardian Farm I'm like you know that island would make a really wicked uh, Alcatraz house. So let's go up here and do a little look-see. It's very simple you know nothing too crazy very simple very easy I like it you know I really like the simplicity of it the fence that's pretty good stuff too so we're like hey we're at Alcatraz let's go in oh we can't get out oh no and we have cool little cells like this man I like them nice little simple easy design oh wait there's nothing in here but just a sink or a toilet you know holy cow and you don't have to put these buttons here if you don't want to so either way like I said I wanted to I have two rooms here and uh, yeah, I just think they're kind of cool the way that they have their little thing. I like how it sits here and it could be something easy and uh, cool to make with your friends. So on that note, let's jump in. First step is find a cool Alcatraz looking island. I was over here doing my guardian farm the whole time. I was like, this is an Alcatraz island house. I'm like, you know what? So all I did was add a little bit of cobble here. I'm trying to kind of rough around the edges because it's like kind of rough waters around it so basically you can just kind of start doing it like that and you know do what you got to do to try to kind of make the sides look a little bit more jagged and then I added just a little couple pieces of grass here because in the real Alcatraz as I look at it on my screen there's a little bit of greenery up in the right hand corner again this is a small version of the house so uh, we're gonna get what we can we can't really get like a water silo and all that stuff in there but as you can see we got it I started throwing a little bit of gravel and sand and some various blocks even throw a mossy cobblestone in there just to give like a texture over here I just started a small stairwell going up it's kind of gonna be the entrance into the small Alcatraz house so I flattened it out once I flattened it out guys we throw a few little random blocks I'm gonna do the rest of this uh, water roughening and edges uh, after but you guys kind of get the gist of what's going on here we're gonna have our flattened out area so for our flattened out area we're gonna want to put a wall so the one thing I think we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually jet the wall out so what I'm gonna do is because we want to have as much room as possible in there um, I'm gonna just do like uh, the big corners I guess because these posts basically we want it to kind of be see-through and so these posts are just gonna maybe maybe put one right here and right here and then let it kind of flow on these ones here and let it go till it gets to say here so now we're on the door area so what we're gonna want is to make sure that this you know what let's bring this up just because it's not symmetrical It'll make it much easier and then put this guy here that might switch after you know what actually we're gonna do is let's Let's get ready for the door. We want it to look like it's part of this thing. So then what we could do also is, yeah, that looks good. Look sharp, look sharp, stairs taking shape. So now what we're gonna do for this is, I think the best way to do this is to put our row of bars one out, one out from the actual island because then it will remain see-through and it will connect see so if we do it this way that'll be good we could do this again I'll do most of it off camera but you guys can see what the the kind of trend is so the, the trend here is we want to make it so that you technically can't get out I don't think you can actually just slide through here so that's good we're gonna put a door there so then the only challenge that remains is what we do here so what we're gonna do is put it on the outside of these posts I think that's what's gonna look better see what we did right there yeah for sure so now basically I'm just gonna go around this whole entire thing and put the fence on the outside as you can see once we get to the corners here it'll look pretty cool and then do that around too high I'm not gonna do that all in the video because I'm trying to make these somewhat decently timed uh, but once you do that you're gonna see that we have a pretty cool looking kind of prison wall because then you could kind of see through it and see what's in there but I think that looks super sharp really good okay so do that around the whole thing we won't do it right now but we're gonna make the shape of the ha small house so 
<clears throat> I want to be able to walk around on the outside in the totality. So I'm going to put this one back because I want to put, basically I want to put the doors. I have an idea for like a redstone front door to it. And hopefully we can make it three long and then back here. Oh yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. So let's do this. Let's do this three high because this is going to be the frame and then hopefully we're going to, we might change it up. I'm going to go back and try to measure what I want for the doors. Uh, we're not going to do the front side yet. That's going to be the front. So let's do the back. Three high it, three high it. And there we go. And then in the front, we're going to want two doors. So we're going to want at least a spot between each of those doors. So let's do this up and this up three high so what we want is for this and this to be a door and then what we want is for this and this to be a door we're gonna do a double jail cell door this is like a, a new project I don't know we'll see if it works I think it'll work but as you can see that's gonna be kind of the way it works let's go ahead and put these in and uh, we have our kind of frontage Right. Oh, it's going to look good. It's going to look good, guys. Don't worry. I think what we're going to do is maybe go down here. I'm going to just throw this in and see how this looks. See, I think that kind of actually has a good appeal to it. I'm a little concerned about how it blends in, but let's go ahead and do this all the way around. See what we did here? I think that's actually a really good decision to do this. No, not like that. Yeah, I think that's good. That adds out the kind of jetty that we need. And I think that's going to make a really cool Alcatraz house. So make sure we do this. Do your fences all around. And we're going to jump back for the next step. Okay, now to step two is doors and windows. As you can see, guys, I've completed the stairs to the fence to the post. So that said, if you don't like these posts in there, you can get rid of them. I'm going to keep them for now. I kind of like them. Make sure when you do the stairs that you go all the way around. And be careful on, say, like uh, these ones. As you can see, when you put them down, it's not going to be the easiest. But you have to make sure that it turns and does a zigzag like that. But as you can see, it looks pretty sharp. I really like it. I added a few little uh, moving waters around the outside. Not completely done there, but... And it looks good. I like it. So doors and windows. So the one thing we're going to be able to skimp on is uh, doors and windows because this is a jail. So I think what we will do is uh, let's put let's see if that even works because I'm going to have to put a sticky piston right there. Um, yeah. So let's I don't think jails would have big long windows. They would only have small windows. So let's go over here and uh, let's skip every second one for now because there's going to be a wall between the cells see that works good actually the numbers actually add up good oh hey it's a jail what's going on okay so let's try a little redstone doors here i might actually move this because i feel like they might get in the way because we're going to have to add a layer on the front and back and this is a a kind of tricky redstone door it's not very tricky i saw it on uh Seth Bling has a show, Super Minecraft Maker, and he did one of these little doors. So I think that it's a pretty cool idea. So basically what he has is a torch. So I'm going to make a double one because I feel like it would go this long. So what you do is we're going to want, we want the piston to push forward. So what we're going to end up doing is, let's grab pistons here. This is going to be a little redstone interlude. Uh, and we're going to want this piston to push this and this is going to be a fence. So push this and this. Let's. We're going to end up covering the walls a little bit. That's okay. We're going to do that. Don't worry. And then let's put this guy here. And that's going to go there. And then what we're going to want is, so you might have to extend the the reach of the house a little bit here so then what we're gonna want is for there to be fences right here and pistons right here yeah I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit two I want to fit two so bad we're gonna squeeze two in here somehow so let's make sure this works first so we what we want is for these fence posts to push together so let's go ahead and power them powered powered so they open and close. Now if we just grab a button and we put this button here, the button, can you walk through there? 
No, see, that works good. Oh, yeah. So now what we want to do is get another one in here. How are we going to fit two? I want it to be like the eh, in jail, you know, when they open all the doors at once. So I'm going to put one button here, and then there's like a guest room where you could go, but maybe they can't get out because it's a jail. So what we need to do here is we could actually let's squeeze in as much as we can see it doesn't power down here though but it will as soon as we do nope but we could do its own its own door so let's see if that moves it does move it let's see if this also moves it okay so we're gonna give it its own button so how we're gonna do that is that's pretty interesting notice it's doing it now <laughs> What's going on? Too much lag. Okay, so we're giving it its own. Let's just move this out of the way. I don't know if we could fit it. We're going to try. We got to squeeze. Okay, so let's do this one here. So what we want is for p piston piston. And we want another. This one's going to have a fence post right here. Then it's going to push forward. These two are going to be empty fence post. We can fit it in. Don't worry. We're going to get it in here. I'm not joking. We're getting it in. Perfect. So let's just move this back. If we have to move those little pillars, man, I'm not, I'm, I'm okay with that actually. So what we're going to want is for, we don't need to cover the actual end. See, we're going to make it fit just fine. We'll get rid of you. We'll leave you there. That's fine. It doesn't have to go all the way around. I think that these doors are pretty cool, so I want to put them in. Okay. So now we just join these across and do the same thing. Then what we do is grab a torch. Torch goes over top. And again, we can put a button on each side, so you don't even have to worry about it. Let's go like this. Yep. Like this. Yep button there we go we got prison doors man that's pretty good yeah yeah so now we just have to add a layer on the front here we're gonna have to cover the top so let's just uh these guys are gone that guy's gone if any of these posts get in the way guys just take them out so now let's grab a stone brick and let's grab stone stairs to try to show like this is like uh yeah so let's go put the button on the other side that way because it's not a prison if you wanted to make this a prison for your friends uh, then you could go ahead and do that. So let's grab these stone bricks and let's start covering up. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Cover it up, cover it up. Gonna need some regular stone. Okay, this is probably gonna be the longest part of them all. There we go. We go over here. We're like, uh, eh. oh yeah, I like it. I like it. So then what we're going to do here as well is let's just put them on the bottom ones. And then let's grab our, our stairs. Oh yeah. And there we go. That looks pretty sharp. So the only other thing that we're going to have to do is let's build this up. Because we want to put stairs there too because it's already looking kind of bulky so we'll put our stairs right there and then let's carry them down that way the redstone's not covered up that's good oh yeah guys come on i like it so then the other thing is prisons don't got no skylights or nothing you know we can't, can't be doing no skylights i think what we're gonna do is carry this dude around like that and then carry this guy all the way to the other side let's just go oh come on my sensitivity is too low why did it turn like that did you see that that's crazy perfect and then let's drag this guy down 
Oh yeah, guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I like it. So now let's go in and readdress a prison window for this dude right here. <laughs> let's fix it up. We can't have him with no windows. And let's just leave those ones here. Let's build the wall in the middle. And then let's keep going. So once the wall is in the middle, we don't want them passing any messages or anything like that. We're good. So now that we've done that, we did our doors and windows. Guys, so cool. Come on. You could go in here and be like, hey. Uh, yeah, I love it. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. Okay, so step three is the roof, which is actually pretty easy. I brought a collection of uh, half slabs because what we want to do is kind of keep it low and flattish. Uh, a little flat is cool. So let's go ahead and uh, bring this half slab in. Once we do this, then of course we're actually going to be better off uh, because then it remains low profile and doesn't mess with our redstone. So that said, we're just gonna go around and do this. And then let's hop it up once for, um, let's see if we can't do what we need to do here. If we do this, there we go, perfect. And then I think what we'll do is, do a rim around like this and then I think we'll do stone half slabs for the rest the one thing is if you want your inside to be uh, in, more impenetrable let's do this and then what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and throw a stone half slab here and let's get rid of this guy and get rid of these and then do a stone one see how we have a little roof but not really it's kind of low angled uh, I know that there's like a there's like a tower or silo, but as you can see, I like the way that looks. That looks pretty cool. We're going to leave that as that for now. The roof is done and done. I think that looks like a prison for sure. I like the working doors. We're good. I'm, I'm slowly getting a little bit annoyed with these actual posts. So I think that honestly, it looks a lot better without them personally. Um, I, you gotta you gotta go with the flow they just don't kind of fit the fence actually completes it goes all the way around without them I kind of like that look a little better and it brings it up so that said we're gonna go into the last and final chapter of this one the details it's probably gonna be the longest part but we're gonna add a few little effects to make this look more prisony and now details time guys details so as you can see, I've kind of in the moment decided to put these fe these actual cobble walls on top of the fences, and I feel like it's made a really good improvement. I really like it. That said, I don't like keeping such monotony, so I'm gonna throw like a few co a few mossy cobble walls, just a couple, like one on this little side here, just just enough to throw it off so it doesn't look like you know what I mean, a luxury mansion. You know, people are in prison here, so. Uh, that's uh, what goes on there but a few little mossy cobbles in there makes it look a little more natural a little more aged and uh, that sort of thing that said we totally missed out on uh, this door right here so what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and grab some iron doors because you know this is a prison so it's most likely going to be iron uh, we could go ahead and put these guys here then the other thing we're gonna have to do is let's grab ourselves some stairs let's make these stone stairs up here because we don't want any sort of misunderstanding and that's good now we could just grab any block of choice uh, whatever you want I mean it's it's your call I feel like maybe what we'll do is just make a small area right here and then let's grab some wood we're just gonna use good old-fashioned oak but we're not gonna use that we're gonna use the planks we're gonna just make a quick little short dock just cuz people got to get here right you know oak planks let's switch the wood up a little bit to uh, let's make it darker a little more prisony and then let's just make a small dock it's not like the focus point here we're just gonna make uh like right here you know you gotta get you gotta get the people to jail and then once we do that let's go and just do a quick a quick fence around it you know there has to be some way to get there that's something that's gonna come up so also let's go ahead and extend this and let's just add you know a couple tr a cup one tree you know maybe two trees it's not a total I know in real life there is some trees so let's go ahead and grab a small shorter tree we're gonna want a small shorter tree not a birch um, a spruce might fit in good not dark oak not acacia so I think we're looking at it's either a spruce or oak so let's just go ahead and put this dude in here 
Let's grab some bone meal and uh, speed up that process. There we go. I think that fits perfect. Perfect. So what we also want to do is let's just go ahead and make this a more odd shape. Let's grab our bone meal and uh, hey, decorate it up. It's looking good. Also, guys, while you're doing this, the one thing I kind of picked off on a little bit was I kind of started kind of fattening up this thing a little bit. You know, if it if it goes up a little and out into the water, I think, you know, just a little love, you know, just to make it kind of a little more prison-esque. Again, you could always go in with uh, gravel. Gravel is a good one in there to mix it up. We're going to get our gravel and then throw a little gravel in there to break up the cobble because you don't want it to look too cobbly, if that's even a word. There you go. And then again, don't ever forget that a good old-fashioned mossy cobblestone will always uh, help you out a little bit as well just to break up the monotony whenever there's too much gray uh, going and then the other thing we're gonna do here guys is we're gonna start we're gonna light it up we want it to look good at night since we have a uh, bush over there let's go ahead and grab oak leaves let's grab some oak leaves so always good to light up your stuff so it looks good at night so I'm just gonna go around and put a few glowstones in some key spots uh, wherever I feel like we could hide the glowstone. So like, uh, say, uh, right there. You know what I mean? Just go around the outsides of it. You want it to look good. We can put one right there too. And then even one right there too. Let's throw some cobble up on top of that. And then a couple over here somewhere. And then we're just going to uh, make a little bit of a light up. Here, I think, you know what we could do? We could do one right next to the tree if we really wanted to. Right there. So then just throw their bushes on it. It's going to add another. We we're going to want one right here as well. So we'll put it down in the ground. Again, the goal is to cover up the glowstone so it doesn't actually show. And we're going to do this. This is just going to add a little added flare. That way at nighttime it kind of glows. And do this guy. And this guy. See? I like it. Okay, we have uh, one more over here. So we got even, it's gonna be lit up at night now, you know, see it's gonna glow, it's gonna be pretty intense. Let's grab some item frames, first of all. Again, design inside the area is not gonna be that crazy because it's a prison. So I'm pretty sure that what I'm gonna do is, for this prison, so first things first, right now it's just more of a house because you can uh, just walk right in and then you're in your cell. So let's go ahead and grab beds. We're just gonna put beds and cauldrons because it's like a toilet, I guess, is what we're gonna do. So we can put a bed right like right here and then we'll put a cauldron there and put some water in it. There you go, that looks like a jail to me. Let's not forget putting, we're gonna put butts on the inside because we don't want our friends to be totally trapped here, but you could. Long story short, if you wanted to cover this up, that's something else you could do. You could always do it. Uh, you could always do it like this. Any way you wanted, I would do upside down slabs personally, if it's even possible. I think it's possible for sure. So close. It wants to, it wants to. Hey, there you go. So you could do that all the way up and around. Uh, feel, feel free. It's up to you guys. If this is your base, you know, we're going to want a little bit of light in here. So that's uh, always doable as well. Let's grab this. Actually, no. Why did I do that? Let's go put our beds in here first. Bed and cauldron. Look, why did I even get rid of them all? So we'll stick to the same path, of course. We'll put the bed over here the cauldron here with some water and then for sure if you really want to use this like a jail or a prison or anything of the sort you're gonna to want to cover it at least in between here so you could just seal this up this is always these ones here I would leave it don't touch that because if there's a block there it will power and you know what I mean make make your life uh, entertaining so we can do this and then uh, you know what we're gonna do let's just grab a little bit of lighting we want to make it look kind of cool so let's grab some glowstone and some trapdoors and then let's just give them one little light we they can have one light but one light only I don't want to hear about it and there we go I think that looks good so let's get out of here perfect I love it I love it I love it let's go back in here 
And let's give the light to this dude. Perfect. I like it. And we're out. Oh, no button on this side. Skip is trapped. And then put the button right on the torch there again. You could cover that up if you want to have more of a prison feel. So that said, we don't really have to do too much more with the outside of this prison. I think what I will do is cover up this front door area. Let's grab some stone bricks and we're going to need some buttons for that. So I think we're going to put this guy here. We have to have a solid a solid uh, door and then we're gonna go ahead and put buttons right here and there you go I think that looks pretty sharp we got a small little dock so now don't be afraid to grab a little bone meal and we got to make it look a little bit more uh, outdoors and natural so as you can see I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a little bit more green just a little bit I don't want to cover up any of the areas where I have the moving water, but we'll do this just because we're going to do this so that we can add a little bit of bone meal. Just because it makes it look more natural. You get a few flowers kicking, you know what I mean? And just, you know, something like that it adds a, that added love touch and good. Do this guy here, this guy here. Look at that. We can even do it here, I think. No, you know what we're going to do? Let's. Let's add a little love right here because now it'll all turn green. So there we go. Perfect. I think the only other thing is what we're going to do is we've got to make some sort of yard, I guess. And let's just make it a little uneasy shaped. You know, it doesn't have to be right on, but I think we're pretty much there, guys. I like it. Uh, the other thing I'm going to say for you guys is we got to add a little bit of light again. I keep going back and forth, but let's grab this guy and then let's grab some gray carpet. This is going to be another way to do this so it looks pretty cool and fits in. And now we're going to have a little bit of light as well as the fact as I'm going to grab these stones and let's make like a clear path outside of these guys so everybody can see. And then what we could do is actually go right here and put, see, I like it, I like it. And then in each of the corners, I would most likely put one of these glowstones. Makes it look a lot more sharp and uh, stands out at night. But I think we pretty much did it, guys. This is a small Alcatraz house. I tried to do it pretty quick. Uh, I hope that you like it. Again, everybody wanted to do it when I was talking about it in the last video. And uh, what I'm looking for here is a suggestion on the next house. I want to, I'm almost tempted uh, to do a death. <laughs> this, look at that island over there. I was like, hey, I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me. I think a desert island house would fit. That's almost a desert island, isn't it? I mean, you get rid of this. and, But there you go, guys. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. We got a cool, small Alcatraz house with working eh, jail cells. I like it. It looks good. It works. It's effective for the win. Don't forget, guys, smash that like. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for some more Wicked videos. Uh, Let's Plays daily on Minecraft uploads and content. And I love it. Hit me on Twitter, and I'll catch you on the next one.